But what's Finsta for the people out there that don't really know what Finsta is? It's like um, a private Instagram. So you was doing like only... Yo, excuse me. Excuse me, what's your name? Hey, bro, chill out, bro. Chill. All right, all right. All right, bro, chill out, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Hey, so what's your name? Oh, bro, you think I'm f***ing playing? Bro, chill. All right, bro. The fact that everybody in the comments was focused on Cuz's haircut, it's just crazy to me because although Cuz need a new barber, how did y'all not notice that? Never mind. Today's <laughs> women want to get even. Preaching. The women before you didn't want to get even. She got even by not doing wrong to you. And in the process, you felt horrible as a man. Facts. Mm. You stop cheating. You stop lying. You start confessing your wrongs to this woman, woman because you saw her do no wrong. That's how you beat the man. Mm. That's how you beat him. You can't beat Perfect. him. You can't beat him getting even with him. You'll lose because nobody shames a man for being a whore, but they'll shame you. That sounds good and everything, but if you talk to older women, that is, that's not the same narrative. If anything, the older women, especially from my community who are traditional and got dogged out by their man, are bitter. And they teach their daughters to become modern women. That's what I've seen. I don't know what he's talking about. It sounds good, though. What type of ridiculous rule or ridiculous thing did your parents have? So for mm. me, because I saw a video where someone said that his parents didn't let him watch Kim Possible. Because if you take away the K, it spells impossible, impossible. and nothing is impossible with God. <laughs> um, for me, what? for me, I have one of those. And I have a list of a couple. <laughs> I gotta turn I gotta turn her mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna um, let Zoe. Uh... <laughs> if you introduce your girl to your homie, he says something, a joke or whatever, and she's laughing like that, it's over. She is now his. That's one of the worst feelings in the world when your woman laugh at your friend's joke that hard. If you've never experienced it, I hope you never experience that day in your life. It ain't something you want to go through. <laughs> I take pictures off our ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want y'all to think I'm preaching and shit. That's okay. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ain't that the same woman DJ Academics was talking crazy to on Fresh and Fit? Heard about you, I'm sorry. Bitch, we never heard about you. Yeah. <laughs> you a masculine looking bitch with a face tag nigga and some fake titties, my nigga. We think you a nigga. Oh. I don't. Maybe. Maybe. You ever see a cop car posted up and cars be speeding past them and nothing be happening? It's because they be making TikToks. You said, uh, you like dusty men. <laughs> Not dusty, but like. No, no, you said it. I, I, I wrote I'm it in saying, my notes. No, so I'm saying like dusty, dusty, but not dusty like, ugh, he dirty, like, not not too clean cut. I don't know. I like dudes, they be looking rough. rough. Like no haircut, construction, like no, dirt, rough No, he hands. can have a haircut. He can have scratches on his face. He can have bullet wounds, like, no. War wounds, war wounds. You war like the wounds. Just manly features. I like shit like that. I don't like no girly shit, you know what I'm saying? No pretty that's, boy shit. That's what I mean when I say dusty. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just got a little rough look to him. One time I heard Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate instruct men not to work on their appearance at all. They said, cosmetically, it doesn't matter. You don't really need to be a super nice looking guy to get really attracted women. All you have to do is portray masculine characteristics. This is why if you go to the gym, you can up your value like a thousand percent. I ain't got time to be in the store trying on outfits. I feel like some female stuff. I'm not saying I ain't long like being fresh now. I like being fresh, but I don't like spending. Whenever I start spending a lot of time doing fashion stuff, it feels feminine. I don't like that. Sweet, beautiful, amazing, smart girl. But you can't keep on calling me every time. <laughs> What's Finsta for the people out there that don't really know what Finsta is? It's like um, a private Instagram. So you were doing like OnlyFans before OnlyFans was a mm, thing? No, I wasn't. So why is it private? If it's private, it gotta be posting some crazy content on. Mm, just stuff you don't want your family to see. I was wondering if maybe I could make you square. How big are you? 
how big am I? It's crazy. <laughs> Yo. If you look at her face, she's serious. She is not playing about what she just said. That's the wild part about it. Bro, what's with these guys' bodies? Like, bro, 25, 26? Like, they're just letting themselves go. Not in the gym. But, bro, like, I'm looking at all my friends. Like, like it used to be, like, looking good. And, like, they all look the same. I'm, like, looking around, like, the dad bod. And I'm, like, yo, like, I could tell just by looking at your body how, the quality of your mind. Yeah. I could just tell immediately. I could tell just by looking at your body I probably don't want to be around you. You know? Because if you're not working on your body, you're probably not working on this. And then I can't relate to you. I refuse to have a dad bod, but my friends don't. I have friends who've gained a hundred pounds in a couple of years. A hundred pounds! That's how! Then it's worse when you got a woman that says, oh, I like your stomach. I got friends who have significant others who do that too. Bruh, do not fall for that when a woman says she likes you having weight or having a stomach. Don't fall for that bull crap, bro. Every single guy on planet Earth says that they like younger women. And every single girl on planet Earth says that's not okay. So why do guys want younger women? That's the harsh truth women need to understand is accepting male nature. The only chance a man will ever find that fairy tale with a woman is if he is potentially going after a younger woman who is more fertile, who probably hasn't had as much life experience and hasn't been with as many guys. So men like younger women because yes, they are hotter. They are cuter because obviously they're still in their younger years of being at their peak beauty but you have to remember this for a man to want to invest and commit into a woman her past matters and he has some good yeah, advice I, I for do. the women in the so background my first, my first husband he knows nothing about checking accounts and bank accounts and statements and writing checks so i taught him and you know what the minute mm -hmm. he learned he went and showed his other woman <laughs> and left me <laughs> Second album, I showed him the same thing. I didn't learn nothing the first time. Second album, I showed him how to write checks. I showed him all how to do statements and they were balancing statements. Showed him how to do all that stuff. Then you know what happened? What? He got his own account and he left me. I couldn't keep up with the money no more. I didn't know where I was going. What is this it was you all, taught him? Yeah, I taught him for the next one. But that's okay. My third husband, uh -huh. I taught him, but you know something? He one of them kind, he resists high tech, new ways. He don't like to write checks. He just like ATM cards. And he use them like it's a bucket with full of money. It don't never run out. When you ain't no money in the bank, he keep on using it, keep on using it, keep on using it. Like this, no, no. What about the fees? ATM fees? Yeah, I had to go catch them fees, whatever, take all his money. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Don't teach him nothing. I have a totally different perspective on this. My perspective is, how did you keep choosing trash men? After the first time, okay. The second time, it's like, mm. The third time, how many times are you gonna choose trash men, auntie? No disrespect, but this is the type of things that older women do and they teach younger women, and it be wrong. Then the younger women go out here and date with her traumas. That's hers, but she passes it on to the young women by teaching them certain things. Then the younger men gotta deal with that bull crap. The issue we're battling up against is the exact reason why men shut down and women i understand that but i'm saying it's the exact reason as a producer that a man will shut down and he will just hide everything from you and just continue to operate and go do what a guy has to do like that's it like it, uh, when it comes to solvent but i want you to what you're doing right there i'm trying to talk right I now i didn't say anything but your mouth is opening up trying to say something i didn't while say I'm anything talking. though but you wanted to i right did then. and i held i didn't say you anything. held because i held my hand up and looked no. right at you but i want you to look at the tenants you have to interrupt me when I'm talking, when I'm trying to share my ideas, my feelings, or where I'm at. And all I'm asking is that as we keep progressing through this, you listen more when I'm talking. Otherwise, for me, I have less desire to share with you what I'm thinking if all I'm getting back is criticism and or just being cross-stepped and never getting to finish thoughts. All that happens is like, I'm in war mode. I don't need to stress about one more thing. Right Anytime now. I go out, I have at least 10 to 20 cat. different women telling me how pretty and attractive no, I am to them. so cat. I that's no, fine. It took me a long time again. to get here. If when I, the Wait, first what? time I went on this podcast, I called myself a seven, but I've realized. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm a good <laughs> bathroom.
I think it's so corny when these red pill men have an actual reasonable woman sitting across from them, expressing themselves and talking to them about what they think and feel. And they just sit there and clown her and bully her. Like, I think that's the weirdest thing. I don't think it's alpha. I think that's weak. Yo, yo, first, everybody got to go through the tears. Bro, the first time you throw tears because of this shit is crazy. You like, hey, you want to know something? You like, what the fuck? No like, funny <laughs> shit. I almost threw tears today. Why? Uh -huh. Nigga. Oh, because. Um, nigga, I'm up, up at the court. Yeah. Nigga, I say Asian, bro. What the fuck? Nah, you say, yo, you, you say Phantom, look. Got a court. I say Phantom, nigga. We got a fucking court. Hey, nigga, we was in the place of the party nigga. going through it, nigga. Nah, you <laughs> say, bro, nigga. A bro, even us in this room. Bro, this shit bigger than my whole How Bronx man, apartment, yeah, bro. bro that ass so shit like this is like, damn. Nigga, we got a court looking over the fucking whole... Yeah, court is crazy. One of the best feelings in the world as a man is to cry. I'm not just talking about some boo-hoo crying because you're just crying. I'm talking about when you've worked hard to accomplish your goals. Night and day, you sacrificed. It took time. It may have took it months, years, whatever. There is nothing like being a grown man and crying once you finally accomplish your goals. This is why it's so important for a man to work hard and to achieve his goals, whether it be his dreams, whether it be he just wants to have a more fit body, whether it be he just wants to be better mentally, whether it be he wants to get closer with God, it is imperative for a man to go after the things that make him a better person and make the world a better person, make the, make the people around you a better person. Because if you never work hard, grind and strive for something you will never experience that i've cried over i've cried over this, this this youtube stuff this content stuff i've cried you know what i'm saying tiktok all that because i got millions of followers on tiktok i got a lot of things going on but it came from years and years of hard work i'm talking about four or five years just constantly you know what i mean like so i'm happy for them and i understand what they're talking about but only, very few men, I believe, will really experience the beauty of crying as a man when you really, really worked hard to achieve something, bro. I want y'all to experience that, bro. I'm getting angry. Because I know most people are lazy and they won't experience that. I'm not lazy. But most people are lazy. I'm not lazy. I hope y'all not either.